Hey all, welcome to home school. Hope everybody are doing good. For many of you all, solving physics numerical is the biggest problem, isn't it? Many of you might be okay with theoretical aspects, but not the numerical aspects. Somewhere you will not be having that confidence to attempt a problem. Even if you attempt a problem, you will lose one or two marks, isn't it? It may be because you have selected a wrong formula or it may be because you have approached the problem in a very wrong way. It may be because of your calculation mistake or it may be because of your unit conversions, right? So you have to be very, very careful in solving a problem. For SSLC 2022 board examination point of view, you have two physics chapters from which numericals can come. One is the chapter electricity and the other one is light reflection refraction. From the chapter electricity, three marks may come for numerical and three plus one. So this one mark may be under MCQ and three marks for solving a complete numerical. Okay, and from light chapter, definitely three marks, they will ask you to solve a numerical. Okay, so all together, uh, six to seven marks, you will have to attempt for numericals. Well, if you want to solve these numericals easily with full confidence, you should have four things. One is complete concept clarity. So, if you don't have concept clarity on a problem, definitely you cannot do anything. Okay, you cannot even uh, attempt the question. Clear? So, concept clarity is very, very important here. And once you have concept clarity on a problem, later you will have to think of what is given and what is asked. So, what is the information they gave in a question and what exactly they are asking you to calculate. So, based on this given information and asked thing, you will have to go for selecting a suitable formula. Okay, so formula selection is next important step. Once you select a suitable formula, Later, you have to substitute the given information correctly in a formula. And while substituting, you will have to be careful with unit conversions. Isn't it? Suppose I have this problem with you. So, uh, suppose if they asked you, say 300 coulombs of charge is flowing. It is flowing in a circuit for two minutes. Two minutes. Calculate the electric current that is flowing in a circuit. Okay. So, what they have given here? Charge is given. 300 coulombs in the sense charge. And next thing is they have given time. Right. So, this is time. What they are asking you to calculate? Electric current. So, what is the formula that you can think of which have Q, T and I? Very simple formula. I is equal to Q by T. Right? Electric current is equal to charge by time. So, what is the charge they gave you? That is 300 coulomb. And charge, you should take it in coulomb. Time, you should take it in seconds. Isn't it? So, in a formula, the time you should take it in seconds. But here in a question, they have given time in minutes. So what you will have to do? First, you need to convert this minutes into seconds. Right? So here charge is equal to 300 coulomb. Time is equal to 3 minutes. Convert this into seconds. That is 3 into 60 seconds. So, now you substitute. Charge is 300 coulomb. Time is 3 into 60 seconds. So, now you will have to calculate and give the answer. 
and whenever you give the answer again don't forget the unit so what is the unit of electric current it is amperes right so this unit conversion is very very important for formula you want certain units but in the question they will give in another units so when to convert when not to convert the unit is very very important okay so you should have an idea on all these things only then you can get that full marks for your physics numerical okay and now let's see one very very important model from the chapter electricity look at this problem guys in a figure r1 is 10 ohm r2 uh, value is given r3 is given r4 is given r5 is given and all these uh, resistors are connected to 12 volt battery okay this is what the given r1 r2 you can look at the figure also r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 so all these are connected to how many volt battery so this is a battery 12 volt battery so what you need to calculate here is total resistance you should calculate and total current to calculate total current we want total resistance isn't it and so we'll go for calculating total resistance first you have to carefully observe this circuit diagram you look at here r1 r2 they are connected in parallel r3 r4 r5 connected in parallel this part and this part again they are connected in series so first what you have to do is calculate the total resistance of this piece and the total resistance of this part okay then final total resistance that both of them are connected in series no? that one so first let's finish off this part both are connected in parallel so what is the formula for uh, calculating total resistance if resistors are connected in parallel it is 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 isn't it so just substitute 1 by r1 what is r1 here r1 is equal to 10 ohms r2 is equal to 40 ohms r3 is 30 ohms r4 is 20 ohms and r5 is 60 ohms and here you shouldn't get confused okay so don't put 40 ohms as r3 don't put 30 ohms as r4 so carefully you have to read and then correctly you have to substitute so what is r1 it is 10 ohms plus 1 by r2 what is r2 40 ohms so take a lcm so most of you will commit a mistake in doing lcm so lcm is a very simplest type of problems right so you shouldn't commit mistakes here properly you have to take lcm and finish off okay so what is the lcm that i can take here 40 right so here uh, 4 plus 1 right so that is 5 by 40 right so 1 by rp is equal to 5 by 40 you want rp right so rp is what it is 40 by 5 right inverse so many of you will commit mistake here so 1 by rp right that is for 5 uh, by 40 you will consider this itself as your rp but no rp is what we want rp so if you want rp it should be reverse right i mean it is 40 by 5 so ones are eights are so your rp is equal to 8 ohms here so your rp is equal to 8 ohms okay fine and now let me go for this piece i mean this part so here also three resistors are connected in parallel right so what is the formula i can use here 1 by let me take it as rp dash okay so this part i considered as rp this i am considering as rp dash so 1 by rp dash is equal to so 1 by r3 plus 1 by r4 plus 1 by r5 is a formula okay so what is r3 1 by r3 r3 is what 30 ohms 
plus R4 is how much? 20 ohms plus R5 is how much? 60 ohms. Okay. So what is your LCM that you will take here? 60. 60 is your LCM. So uh, here it will be 2 plus 3 plus 1. Okay. So all together 6 by 60. So that is 1s are 10s are. So 1 by RP is equal to 1 by 10. But what is RP? It is reciprocal. That means 10 ohms. 10 ohms is your RP dash. Right? So don't commit a mistake here. Don't consider RP as 1 by 10. No. RP is how much? 10 ohms here. Okay. Clear. So this is over. So how much is the total resistance of this piece? It is how much? 8 ohms. Right? So how much is the resistance of this particular component that is 8 ohms. So now this and this connected in series. So how do you find the total resistance? Total resistance. Total resistance is your RS. They are connected in series no? So what is your formula? RP plus RP dash you have to do. So you had got RP. How much? 8 ohms and how much is your RP dash that is 10 ohms. So what is your total resistance? Total resistance is 18 ohms. So you had got answer for the first question. Okay. So total resistance is 18 ohms and they asked you the second question. What is the second question? Total current also you have to find. So you know the resistance. You know the voltage, voltage they gave it in a question. So, which is the basic formula that you will have to use? Ohm's law. So, what does the Ohm's law tell you? What is the formula of Ohm's law? It is V is equal to IR. You want to find current, right? So, V by R is equal to I. Isn't it? So, V is how much? V is 12. Resistance is how much? Resistance is 18. Right. So it is um, 6 twos are 12 and 6 threes are uh, you know 18. So 2 by 3. 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 is how much? 2 by 3 is 0.6. Isn't it? So 0.6 amperes. So what is your total current? Let me write it here. So here I am writing total current I is equal to 0.6 amperes right so this is how you have to do a problem okay so this is a very common model that can be asked from the chapter electricity so they may give you a circuit diagram and carefully you have to analyze the circuit what are connected in parallel what are connected in series okay so they'll ask you to calculate total resistance and then again they'll ask you to calculate total current so, while doing LCM and while taking answer for RP, you have to be very, very careful. And don't forget to mention the units with answer. For resistance, the unit is ohm and for current, the unit is ampere. Okay. So, this is how you will have to do a physics problem. Even in case of light chapter, taking sign is very, very important. Okay, so you have to carefully analyze the question whether they are asking for concave convex mirror or concave convex lenses. Okay, so according to a mirror, you will have to take proper sign for image distance, uh, object distance and also for the focal length. Okay, so you have to be very, very careful. Well, as you all know, homeschool has launched its homeschool application. Uh, and if you want to have that complete grip on problem solving skills or if you want to uh, sharpen up your knowledge, you can download the app and join our course which we have designed specially for SSLC Karnataka Board Examination 2022. Uh, we have three courses uh, launched one is target uh, 95 plus in chemistry target 95 plus in physics and target 95 plus in complete science okay and also uh, in biology 
whichever the branch you are weak that course you can take or you want knowledge on all the chapters in a very detailed way a full fledged way you can go for our science course okay so where coming to physics chapters definitely i'll help you out how to approach a problem easily and uh, how you will have to select a formula and especially with the calculation part okay uh, unit conversions etc will solve many models uh, taking from previous years papers so that your confidence increases or your approach towards a problem may improve so don't forget to enroll already seats are getting filled up as i already informed you first 100 members have this uh, offer so seats are getting filled up so don't delay join our course if you want that extra boost up or extra confidence okay but if you have zero knowledge on a chapter this is not a course for you if you are okay with all the theory concepts somewhere you have uh, that difficulty level in uh, grasping certain concepts in a chapter then this is the best course for you all okay so thank you so much don't forget to download the app and don't forget to enroll uh, for the courses okay so keep learning see you all in the next video